examples of functions with even symmetry. Now in this video we'll try to explore a few functions and figure out if they are even or not, right? We'll have another video in which we will take examples of some odd functions, right? Now when we say even symmetry, it means what? Even symmetry basically means it is symmetric about a line. So even symmetry means symmetric about a line and that line is y-axis. That is what it means, right? So from a graph, if you look at the graph, if it is symmetric about y-axis, that means the function has even symmetry. So to give you few, based on that, we have a graph here. Let me draw one by one some of the functions which have even symmetry and they are mainly symmetric about the y-axis, right? So for example, a parabola. So we have this function f of x equals to x square, right? So this has even symmetry. Well, that is one condition that is symmetric about y-axis and that is a test which we can test graphically, right? It basically means that if we have one point here, then there will be a mirror image on the other side. So that is what it has. So every point on the left side of y-axis will have a mirror image on the other side. So that is how we say they have even symmetry, right? Algebraically, we can prove it. And algebraically, how can we prove it? So that is a graphical proof. Algebraically, we say if the function f of x is even symmetry, we say even symmetry, if f of minus x is equals to f of x. That means minus means these values on the left side are having a mirror image on the other side. That is what is algebraic proof, correct? Now in this example which we have taken, right, if I write f of x is x square, what is f of minus x? minus x will be minus x whole square which is same as x squared so this is same as f of x right so that is the second definition or i should say algebraic proof that the function is indeed even right so let me give you more examples here so another example which you will always come across is absolute function correct absolute function also has even symmetry correct so that is the function and this function is fx equals to absolute value of x. Now absolute x is even since if I replace x with minus x, what do you get? You get plus x, correct? So it has even symmetry and on graph you can always check that there will always be a mirror point, right? So these two are easy examples. Always we see them, we know them. Now the idea is to get some more. Now can you help me to give me some more examples which will have even symmetry right indeed we are looking for functions otherwise I could have said a circle correct circle is not a function and that is why I'm not giving you that example well one is cosine function so if I draw a cosine function it's kind of like this do you see that so we if we extend it do you see that do you see the symmetry now so cosine function is has even symmetry. So f of x equals to cos x. Now cos x has even symmetry. What is f of minus x? Now f of minus x is equals to cos of minus x and that is indeed equals to cos x, right? And since f of minus x equals to f of x, we say it has even symmetry. Perfect. So f of x equals to cosine x is also an even function, right? So that way, that's the trigonometric function, which is even in nature, right? So these are even functions. Well, at times when we are talking about circle, let me just extend it to circle also. But in circle, what we will do is, uh, the equation of the circle is indeed x square plus y square equals to r square. But if I restrict my range, if I say, well, if y is greater than or equal to 0, if I do that restriction, then what happens? 
then then it has even symmetry right then we are only talking about the the upper half or the semicircle do you see that then we are talking about semicircle and if this point is minus a then this point is a so semicircle is having a even symmetry right so that has even symmetry provided we do a restriction on so we'll say semicircle So that is also even in nature as you can see from the graph every point on the left side has a mirror image on the right side correct so these functions which we'll be exploring in greater detail soon all have even symmetry right you can always draw some graph which will have even symmetry for example well since we ran out of the space let me just use a space here right so so if i say well i may just draw something which has even symmetry for example i can draw something like this right and something symmetric so the idea is if my function is symmetric about y-axis correct so now i can ensure if that is true then then these functions are also even correct so we can have many piecewise functions which can indeed be even right so there is no limitation we could have many functions which are even the properties should be graphically they should be symmetric about y-axis and algebraically f of minus x should be equals to f of x i hope that helps you to understand the topic and now go through the videos and see some examples to explore how to find even or odd functions from the given equation thank you